Howdy y'all, this is your host Road. Welcome back to Love It Games. We're going to continue our journey with uh, the Dark Pictures Anthology, The Devil and Me. I hope you enjoy. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. And uh, we're going to hop right back into it. So we're going to play alone. Continue. I really enjoy the Dark Pictures series. They're fun. The choice space games are always some of my favorite games. So, I'm real excited to see what happens in here. It isn't moving. So now what? We're fucked. That has to be the way around. Yeah, maintenance corridors, crawl space, has to be. All right, so gather our bearings is where we came from. Uh, What's going on? Demet, what the hell is going on with him? He was nervous the whole way here. I chalked it up to him just being eccentric. There's a lot of miles between eccentric and murderous. Well, one thing I would have noticed and had an issue with on day one. Let's think about this. You saw Dumet take off. So maybe he found. There's no the windows, right which are a fire safety issue. Or perhaps the man we met wasn't actually Dumet. And the dude in the mask is. Fire safety code: you have to have emergency exits oh, labeled. Actually, that's a hell of a lot to set up. That was planned out, every bit of it. It was set up for us to find. Which makes it even more likely the dude on the ferry wasn't really the Met. There's so many fire safety thing issues here, no modes of egress. You didn't notice. Like that right there. Things immediately. Oh no, look, this is only close off and we're Guarantee that closes off. That allows us to open the thing. This one has no room number. You can see how small of an area that is. Mother fucker. What? Brick wall. Keep going. Just like Holmes. I know. I don't want to think about it. They're not even trying to hide the fact of where the walls come back and forth. You coming, dude, or are we going to get separated here? This in my head. I think Erin's room has been completely cut off. Jesus, Charlie. Why is he messing with her? Because she's the most easily frightened. The most vulnerable. Don't you watch our show? That's what these sociopaths do. That'll take us down, which I think is where they're wanting us to go. Um. No, they're cutting us off here. 100%. Because this has already changed.
Oh wait, that one had a number. What was the number? 180, so... Yeah, these things have changed, moved around. Oh, what the fuck? Is that a kid? Oh, good. You hear a creepy kid voice, too. I was worried I was finally snapping. Where's it coming from? Got another one of these. Worth two. Charlie, come here. How's it get this open? Oh, uh, yeah, that looks like a trap. Hundred percent looks like a trap, and it's something you shouldn't go into. Someone's in a lock behind you. Yep. We're in a bloody nesting doll. What? A Russian nesting doll. You know, a doll in a doll in a doll. Are you losing your shit? Because I don't need that right now. We're locked in a kitchen, trapped in a hotel, stranded on an island. Even if we get out of this room, how do we get out of the hotel? He's burning the motherfucker down. Maybe we just focus on one thing at a time. This room first. You're right. Of course. Charlie, I found a way out, maybe. Look, this one spins out. We can probably force it easier than the others. Stand back. That's not what I was expecting. Ah, Amy! Ah! Ah. <sighs> Charlie? I knew they'd be getting separated soon. There's just no way for I it not to. Was in there. I, I can't. I can't breathe. Try to relax. Slow, deep breath. In and out. Ah. Somebody in there. They gotta hear this. Wait. All the mold and dust in the air. Oh, come on, come on. Stop being such a damn wimp. Internet user and Heller to calm herself before in the newly unlocked room. Alright. There's no point in instantly using it every single time. 
Now when she's actually having the attack, yes. Now one thing you should do is blow out the fucking window. And just leave out the window. It's in your hotel. Demolish parts of it. Treatment for what? Genuine snake oil treatment made from the finest king cobra. Silver Ash Aston. Ah, Institute. Aston. Institute. That's real blood. And those are not real windows. The door's locked behind me. I don't know if that's for sure, Charlie. I'll get them to you. Oh, what the hell? Their eyes don't look right. Eyes look too real. They don't look like a mannequin. Well, fuck you, Jamie. It is the cutie in the pig post to tell your type are so predictable. To Aaron, please, my type's a badass bitch, not a timid, woodland creature. She's shy. She's clueless. Her face always lost. So they're trying to set you up to hate each other. Nothing else sticks out? No. Banish the demon drink with Dr. Holmes' Miracle Cure. A prediction or predilection for alcohol has been stigmatized purely in terms of weakness of character and absence of moral fiber. Yet yeah, startling breakthroughs by the renowned physician has demonstrated that alcoholism is an ailment such as syphilis or cholera. Not only be successfully treated as such, but although alcohol aversion remedies are becoming available, the greedy 
greed of the manufacturers has put the majority beyond the purse of the common man, particularly when the common man has already been driven to the brink of ruin by his unfortunate affliction. Such dire public need has now been answered by the uh, steam Chicago practitioner Dr. Henry H. Holmes, who has a personal expense, has established the Silver Ash Institute. Bringing affordable therapies to the drunken masses already, the good doctor is achieving remarkable results for those who pass through the doors of the clinic. At Silver Ash Institute, there is no recourse for prayer C, an eligible plea with the Almighty. The only law is the submission that Dr. Holmes and his miracle cure, a patent yet highly affordable compound of secret ingredients, including the purest silver drawn from the mines in North Dakota. When ingested twice daily for a program for four weeks, his cure is sent until intelligible to exercise the patient with his prior inquisitous appetites indeed following one month's treatment of silver ash institute under the strict instructions of dr holmes there will be little for your bad old self remaining time you depart silver ash institute aaron hello jamie jamie Aaron, you there? Uh, hello? Can you hear me? What is happening? What? You're not safe, Aaron. How are... You have to listen to me. Do exactly as I say. Jamie, what is going on? Where are you? I don't... Just listen. right now what are you talking about just hide Aaron why are you telling me this what's happening Aaron now just trust me okay There'd be no way for Jamie to know without her seeing, like, a camera or something. Charlie? Jamie? Hello? Where the hell are they? Hopefully somewhere safe, wondering where the hell we are. Kate, check this out. What is going on? <clears throat> are, are we locked in here? Looks like it, yeah. Wait. Shh. What? Shh. You hear that? Is that them? Where's it coming from? <laughs> Somebody's in the restaurant. What's the plan, Charlie? You end up dead. I'd like to toast all of you. Really? I know that I'm the butt of your jokes, and that's just my cross to bear as the patriarch of our little family. Mark and Jamie, the two of you do the work of a team of ten. And Kate, despite our bickering, you are the heart of this show. What the fuck is this? Some twisted, twisted shit is what this is. Mark, what are you doing? Just stay back from it. Relax. 
So, it's a bunch of mannequins dressed like us. Weird? Yes. Cause to lose your shit? No. I say destroy them. Destroy all the hard work they put into everything. Jesus. It looks just like him. No way somebody just threw these together in the last couple of hours. Night. The eyes on these don't look as weird. The eyes on the other ones look lifelike. Has anyone seen Mr. Dumet? Okay, this is fucked up. What the hell is going on? Again, destroy the mannequins. You hear that? Footsteps. And they're getting closer. But Watch out. Why would they invite us here and to dinner and then just leave? That's a weird doorknob. It looks like there are two of them on top of each other. What am I supposed to aim at? Not. Uh, oh shit. Jamie. What's going on? Sorry, I thought. Jesus. What are those things? Oh my god. When that wall shut, I. I'm just glad you're okay. Demet killed his groundskeeper. What? Right in front of us. Dumet? It's a setup. He was wearing a mask, and I know how that sounds, but I'm not joking, and now he's after Aaron, so we need to move. Wait, hang on. Where's Charlie? I don't know. We got separated. No way this is happening. You know, so when our bodies wash up on the other side Are you of the fucking lake, kidding me? Bodies dead. Jesus, dead. shut bodies. it up! That? It had a real eye in it. It's fake. A prop or from an animal or something. It has to be. No, 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 no way. You really want to touch somebody's eye? Oh. It is a real oh. eye. Oh, it's real. It's fucking real. I told you this was all too much. Let's get out of here. Don't run off, I still want to look around the room. Oh, it's locked! What's going on? The door I came through is locked too. Do <coughs> man! You want to play around? Get out here! Right now! Let's fucking play! You're playing right into his games. What you should be doing is destroying the house. Something that took him years and years to build millions of dollars. Or escape through a window. Uh, you need your lighter. It was next to you. Jamie! Hello! 
Hello there, Is Governor. I'm okay. Apparently, you still look like the bus driver from Little Ho. Oh shit! There's a little fire. Is that a warning? I bet it is a warning. It showed when you fell, your lighter was right next to you. This dude's playing games with you, trying to get you to do exactly what he wants. Don't do what he wants. Chicago victim, or Chicago killer victim to cause of death, abdominal injuries, victim's teeth were all removed. John Doe number two. I'm assuming you've read my report on the first one. Similar MO, unidentified male with multiple stab wounds. Looking at the lower abdomen, the wounds are consistent with those of the first victim. The shape of the entry wound suggests it's a strong probability that this is the same murder weapon. Looks like we've got a souvenir hunter here. This time the left ear has been severed. Clean incision. Probably a scalpel or a razor blade. Very tidy. Nice job, actually. Very little bleeding. The deceased had probably been dead for 30 to 40 minutes when this was done. This differs from the earlier M.O. If you remember, that John Doe was still alive when the teeth were removed. That would have created a lot of noise and mess. This guy is learning. Nice. Not what he did, just... Information. AD, logbook, can I open it? Alright, most of the crew have arrived on the island, moved all the equipment in, up to the hotel, the hotel proprietor and Mr. Beck can. On site assessment has begun, Eva excavation has begun in the hotel basement, intelligible, work on the first and second floors are expected, some equipment has gone missing. Twelve report requests or replacements via Mr. Boop. Bell Camp requires our contract. James Kelly has left the project, left note citing an emergency. He didn't contact me directly. Grand port to follow. First set of moving walls have been implemented. Acquire a copy of blueprints from Mr. Bell Camp. Start work on basement ceiling supports tomorrow. Bobby has left me high and dry. Second one of the guy to leave me on the project. Bar renovation has begun. Basement and plumbing has been completed. Second floor renovation completed. Bar renovation completed. Project is good. If it continues, we'll meet the agreed date. We can search walls. Completed. Signal receivers installed. More reports of missing equipment. Third replacement request filled this month. Project completed at the agreed date. Proprietor is requesting additional work on the spa area beneath the hotel. Only a small skeleton crew are still on the island, so we have to conduct initial cost assessments while waiting to hear back from Kelly. We received correspondence from Kelly, skeleton crew remaining, Laura, Monica, Ryan, Frank, and I will move forward with the route. Work on the spa until her crew returns. Ryan has left a note saying his mom isn't well. I'm sure she died years ago. We'll see if Mr. Belkamp allows me to contact him. Laura finished installing the tannery system with Mr. Belkamp. He said he'd 
She wasn't feeling well afterwards, and so he offered her one of the rooms to sleep let it off. I haven't received any correspondence from Kelly about the rest of the crew are. What's going on? Laura hasn't come out of her room, and Monica just left. I can't contact Kelly. Tomorrow I will be on the mainland with Frank and Laura. This job is ridiculous. He's killed off his contractors. All right, so we're looking in a cage with three lights. That only has one. The lights are off. I turn that shit off. Again, you're leading into his trap. Don't like the voodoo doll thing on it. us to go that way. That for sure looks like a trap. You fell down the trap tonight. Well, if I get out, I'll send someone back for you. Any door that you can clearly see locked from one side, yeah, that looks like a trap. Somebody was watching us. Are those in every room? Oh, that's locked now. This one's now locked. But did that change anything here? We are definitely going straight into whatever he wants us to go into. I do not like. work
Still haven't figured out how we use or what these coins are for. I don't like that this one has fire on the top. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't have a way to light up shit. That ain't good. Makes me think they've been pumping gas in here too. This whole thing looks like a boiler room. Was it this one that had the window? Can't look through it now. Well, it's burnt to a crisp. This is 100% a trap. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, hell no. Dude, take some of the crates, block off every door, and lock this one open. Yeah, don't like that. They're obviously screwing with you here. But they took your lighter. This is gonna be the best cigarette of your life. Oh, for fuck's sake. Called it. I knew it was gonna be a trap. The door obviously looked like one. You guys are being too nice about everything. You need to destroy the mansion. Every door needs to be busted. Every window broken. Oh, it's made just to be just out of reach. That sucks. There's a grate. Gas. I knew it looked like a freaking broiler. Somebody's been burnt.
You ain't getting that door open. Your best chance with the gray. That door was made for you not to be able to reach through. Don't lose your strength now. I still say great. That door is not going anywhere. That's quickly taking all the oxygen out of the room. I for sure think he would have died at the door. At least he's low, but he needs to stop screaming. Things are starting to heat up for our friends. Charlie's goose may be cooked. It can be difficult working with someone you've been involved with, but I think Mark and Kate may be finding a way and learning some new things about each other. And how do we feel about Mr. Dumet's lovely animatronics? I think they're rather clever. Some of them look very realistic. I wonder where he sources the parts. It would only be fair at this stage to offer up a little hint to even the odds. Sure. What do you think? Yes. Let's take some inspiration from the works of Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. Apparently, our friend Herman Mudgett was so enamored with Sherlock Holmes that he borrowed his surname. Hmm. Here. <clears throat> He has a brain of the first order. He sits motionless like a spider in the center of its web. But that web has a thousand radiations, and he knows well every quiver of each of them. I hope that helps. Oh, Tom Hanks, the curator of death. You'd better get back to things. Best of luck. I know he doesn't voice him, but he looks just like Tom Hanks. Quit working into his plans. Start the destruction of the hotel. I... I could have saved them. How could you have saved him? There's no way you could have saved him. What? What the fuck? The monitor had no power ran to it. It was hooked to nothing. From down there. What if it's Aaron? No way. Damn it. It's another trap. It's the only way out of here. So we're going to find out. They show it right there, but there's no power ran to it. There's no video ran to it. Sorry, but I've been working telecommunications for 24 years. That ain't gonna work. Moving on down to the basement. Where the hell are we? Hey, there's body parts in those bags.
Ew, a very small crevice. Which honestly is a good place for us to leave off today. Thank you for tuning in. Please like, comment, subscribe, share the video. Tell me what you think in the comment section down below. I personally looking through here and playing and seeing so many ways for them to have escaped or piss off their captor. I think they should be destroying the mansion as they go through. If anything, they'll open up escape pass and cost the guy money. Because if you're destroying each door as you come through to it, that door is not going to be an issue later. You could kind of see where the walls open and close, put stuff in the way so they don't open and close all the way. But we're going to continue down our journey, playing in the web of the spider, I guess you would say. And uh, we're going to see if we can expand the relationship. So like I said, like, comment, subscribe, share the video, tell me what you think, and we'll see what we get into on the next episode.